We're gonna do a Van der Waals equation calculation practice set here. So as I read through this question, I'm gonna be pulling out my givens first. So the, que uh, the answer question states that 4.608 moles. Okay, moles is a unit of N, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna establish that my N value is going to be 4.608 of carbon dioxide gas occupied 5.961 liters. Liters is a unit of volume, so I'll go ahead and I'll establish that as my volume. At 248.22 or 288 Kelvin, so that is my temperature. What is the calculated pressure of the gas? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this little end tiblet and I am going to add it onto my given list. So I will establish that A is going to be equal to 3.61. And then I have a very strange unit here of liters squared atmospheres per square moles. And my B is going to be 0.0428 liters per mole and finally my R my ideal gas law constant is going to be 0.0821 liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole and I'm gonna establish that my unknown is going to be that calculated pressure so P is my unknown once I have that I can go ahead and establish my equation so uh, my initial equation is going to be the Van der Waals equation. And the Van der Waals equation is that pressure plus a n squared over v squared times that of v minus n b is equal to n r t. I'm solving for pressure, so I need to get rid of this second parenthesis set first. As with PEMDAS, I'm going to be dealing with my parentheses first. So I need to undo this multiplication, which means I'm going to divide both sides by this set of parentheses, V minus NB. And that will cancel it on the left, leaving me with P plus a n squared over v squared and that's going to be equal to n r t divided by v minus n b and you can leave that in parentheses or not um, and then I can go ahead and unlock this value set from the parentheses since no action is being taken on it anymore the parentheses don't have to be there so I can go ahead and undo this. The opposite of addition is going to be subtraction. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract a n squared over v squared from both sides. And that will, of course, cancel it from the left, leaving me with my solved for equation being p is equal to that of n r t divided by v minus n b minus a n squared over v squared. So now that I have my isolated equation, I can go ahead and substitute in. Uh, so I'm going to have pressure is equal to my n, which was uh, 4.608 moles. Multiply that by my R, which was 0.0821 liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole. Um, and then I will be multiplying that by my T, which was uh, 248.288 Kelvin. And I um, 
will go ahead and do the underside there. So I'm gonna have a V minus NB. My V was 5.961 liters. Minus my N is 4.608 moles. And that will be multiplied by my B, which was um, 0 0.0428 uh, liters per mole. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract my A, which was 3.61 liters squared atmospheres divided by my moles squared and a is going to be multiplied by n squared and n was 4.608 moles which I have to square divided by my volume squared which was a uh, five point nine six one liters and of course I have to square that value as well so since we have so much to deal with here I am going to do it rather slowly and show you exactly how these uh, values are going to end up canceling so the thing that I'm going to do first is I'm going to deal with these squaring and I'm going to deal with this multiplication so it simplifies it a little bit so I'm going to leave everything else alone so I'm going to have four point six zero eight moles being multiplied by zero point zero eight two one liter atmospheres being multiplied by two hundred and forty eight point two eight eight kelvin all of that being divided by kelvin mole and that being multiplied by five point nine six one liters minus and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do that that specific small portion in my calculator right now. So I'm going to have uh, 4.608 times 0 0.0428, and I'll plug that specific number in. So 0 0.1972224 moles times liters per mole. Moles are gonna cancel leaving this the unit of liters. Then I'm going to leave this uh, 3.61 liters squared ATM alone, per mole squared. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna square uh, that B, or sorry, that uh, A value, or N value, sorry, my bad. 4.608 uh, uh, squared is going to give me um, a value of 21.233664, and then that's gonna be moles squared. Uh, pretend like my parentheses go around that. And then we're going to be squaring this bottom number as well, 5.961 squared is going to give me that value of um, 35.533521, and then I'll have liters squared as my unit. Liters squared will cancel with liters squared, moles squared will cancel with moles squared, leaving me only with the unit of atmospheres for this right value. And I'll go ahead and uh, deal with the cancellation of this in a second after I get rid of this subtraction and uh, this full multiplication, this multiplication, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to be multiplying 4.608 by 0 0.0821 and 248.288. So that gives me a top value of 93.931521 Four, and then none of these uh, units canceled yet, so I'm gonna leave them. So they're gonna be moles, liters, atmospheres, Kelvin, and I'm gonna divide it by this once I've gone ahead and 
uh, subtracted that. So that was 5.961 minus 0 0.1972224. And so that is going to give me the value of 5.7673. Uh, this is liters because I'm able to subtract it because they're the same unit. And then uh, that Kelvin mole will extend in. So I will have liters Kelvin mole as my strange unit here. And then I'm going to have subtracted by. And then I will multiply the 3.61 times that 21.233664 volume, which is going to give me 76.65. Three, five, two, seven, zero, four, and uh, remember, I've already canceled all of that those units there. So the only thing I should be writing is atmospheres per, and then I didn't do anything to the bottom here, so I'm just going to leave it as thirty-five point five, three, three, five, two, one. Okay. Now I can go ahead and I can cancel all these units on the left-hand side. So I'm going to cancel moles, I'm going to cancel liters, and I'm going to cancel Kelvin, leaving me only with atmospheres on the top, which matches this, which means that now I can finally do this math. So um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to do it stepwise so that you can see exactly what's happening. But I am going to have that 93.93 value, and I will be dividing it by that 5.76 value. And that will give me a number of 16.296867.81. And remember, the only unit left was atmospheres. And I'm going to be subtracting that from the uh, 76 point, uh, 65 value. And I will be dividing that by 35.53521. And so uh, that gives me 2.15 seven two one seven three two three remember i still have the unit atmospheres since these are in the same unit i can go ahead and subtract those um sorry quite a while ago this turned into solve i forgot to re-establish that we had moved on after we had substituted in uh my apologies of course and um, I can go ahead and subtract those two values. So the 16 value subtracted, um, I'm going to subtract that 2.15 value. And that will give me a number of 14.1396509. And uh, this is big, long, and gross. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to round it. I am going to round it to... Uh, that second decimal place. So I'm going to look over to see if I need to round up. Nine does make me round up, which means that my final boxed answer will be 14.14. .14. Only English left on my math was atmospheres. And that is my final boxed answer for pressure.